Hello, this is Brad Harvey with Harvey Investment Management. And today's question that we're going to answer is, will Social Security be around for me? Well, I will tell you, this is something that I don't really have the answer to. I think that the federal government will make good on their promise for Social Security. Remember, it's really not a tax. It's an insurance policy. That's the way it was originally designed. I did see something in the news over the weekend that said they estimate that the Social Security Trust Fund will actually be out of money starting in 2033, so in 10 years, which is right about the time that I will be turning 65. So this certainly is a very, very important and personal issue to me. However, I think that Social Security is going to have to change in some way, shape, or form. People are living much, much longer than they were when they originally envisioned this program. Keep in mind that right now, full retirement age for Social Security people that were born in the year I was is age 67. That's gone up from 65. But now people are commonly living into their 80s. I remember as a kid, if somebody was 70 years old, they were old. They were very old. Now I play a lot of pickleball with people that are in their mid-70s into their mid-80s. So it really isn't as old. They're living good, productive, fruitful lives much longer. Well, Social Security was never envisioned to be a long-term pension plan for those people living into their 80s, 90s, or even into their hundreds. So I think that Congress will have to make some changes to the way those Social Security benefits are formulated and paid. And yes, they will probably extend out the ages in which we're eligible to take those payments. But I think it will be there long term. Just keep your head up and know that it's liable to change. The numbers just don't add up. As we've had more and more people aging out of the labor force, we have fewer and fewer people supporting those. Therefore, Social Security is not taking in enough money to sustain itself long term. And if they're going to operate it like an insurance company, because it's an insurance policy, then they need to be looking at those claims. They need to be looking at actuarially, what is this going to cost? And they have a responsibility to do that. We've all paid into this. Our employers have paid into this. The federal government owes us that money. However, I think it is going to change dramatically. So stay tuned, pay attention, and make sure you go out and vote. So this is Brad Harvey with Harvey Investment Management. Today's question that we answered was, is Social Security going to be around for me?